Hi, are you wondering on what piece of technology you are looking at? Then stick around. These are famously called stretch sealing lights. So what you are seeing here is a stretchable membrane, heated and stretched over four corners to give you a scenery and hence the name. But what we'll be talking in this video is what happens behind the screen. That's where we, as lighting manufacturers, step in. Even to this day, many manufacturers of stretch sealing lighting use a product called a signage module to lit up the back end. But that is not the right product for this application. But due to lack of knowledge, people go on with it. There are multiple disadvantages if you use a signage module for stretch sealing applications. For example, signage modules are used for outdoor applications, which is an encapsulated module. So if you use them for long hours, let's say for 12 hours to 14 hours, um, there is a high chance that there's going to be element depreciation, dullness, uh, if you use a product that ranges between the low to medium range. Now, what is the replacement? What can you use in the place of a signage module that gives you better output but at the same time reduces your costs? Introducing Rigid Bars Now as you can see from this table, a Rigid Bar would only require 5 watts per square feet but at the same time, to get the same output, a module would require 9.5 watts per square feet. A rigid bar is more economical, as in it saves your costs better. A signage module is more costlier. So by using rigid bars in the place of signage modules, you are saving big on money as a result of reduced watt consumption. But at the same time, there is also lesser wattage used on your SMPS per square feet. Now in the case of a signage module, you'll need a minimum of 6 inches and above if you want a uniform light spread. Now to make a box with a depth of 6 inches, it's going to take some time and it's also going to cost you a lot. So the deeper you go, the more the complexities there's going to be in wiring and the more it will eventually cost you. Now the minimum depth requirement for a rigid bar is only 3 inches and due to this special 170 degree angle lens, it uniformly spreads light within that 3 inch range. Now, we've covered the basics of why you should go for a rigid bar in place of a signage module. Now, why should you come to us comes the next question. Now, since we're a manufacturer, we don't partner with just one chip or one brand. We have multiple brands based on your preferences, based on your budgetary requirements. So if you were to say that I want the best rigid bar product possible with the best chip possible, we have that product. At the same time, if you're looking for a mid-range product and if you're on a budget, we can make the same rigid bar product with that range LED chip. So more options, better product, proven uniform lighting distributions, guaranteed success. If this brought value to you, please consider subscribing. Uh, and please do check out our other product explanation videos. If you're interested, please feel free in giving us a call or uh, shooting us a mail. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers.